Fuzz the Pie Guy. Uh, hopefully this thing's recording, right? I've been using QuickTime for a couple of my videos and having problems with the audio cutting off, so I figured I'd jab or something here for a couple of seconds. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi uh, with some software so you can uh, turn your Raspberry Pi into a uh, Pi Fox, a fox hunting software for uh, amateur radio, ham radio. Now, the issue is this software only works on like a Raspberry Pi Zero the, and the Raspberry Pi B, B Plus. It probably won't work on a two, a three, or a four. I know it definitely don't work on a three or a three B plus <clears throat> and it doesn't work on the two so I'm pretty sure it probably won't work on the four which is definitely overkill for this but what we're going to do is we're going to use this software and there's two different ways you could use it you could use it and transmit off the GPIO four of the Pi or you could hook up an actual radio to the Pi and use Vox but we're not doing that I had issues in the past with it and the easiest way around it obviously is just use GPIO4 obviously the transmit power won't be near what a handheld could do but it does transmit pretty good if you hook up like an external antenna so We'll go ahead and update some software here. Then uh, this doesn't take long to install the, uh, I'm running this right now on a Raspberry Pi Zero, so it will be a little bit slower. <clears throat> but uh, I was doing this earlier and I couldn't get it to work and I'm there thinking what's going on and I totally forgot this software don't work on a Raspberry Pi 3. So now that we have an update, I mean, you might want to do an upgrade, but I'm not going to worry about that. We need to install, make sure we have Git, and we also need to install the following software also so it can communicate. So we'll let that do its thing. Uh, this works out pretty good on a, on a, uh, Pi Zero. It's nice and small, lightweight, nothing big. And the nice thing is once you have it all done and set up, you don't even really have to use a, uh, Pi Zero W. You could just use the original, uh, Pi Zero. So, and another thing is we need to install... Uh, wiring Pi. Now, Wiring Pi might be installed from the get go, but we're going to go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the newer version of it. So, uh, once that's done, we will uh, move on. <clears throat> But uh, we'll give a shout out to KM4EFP uh, for coming up with this software. As you can see here, here's the commands that we're going to be running. It's very simple. There's not a whole lot. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for these commands and uh, for the video also. But... Uh, very few commands. It's probably harder to set up and get working than it is to uh, get the software installed. So, uh, <clears throat> so uh, I'm back again. So now that this uh, software is installed, we went ahead and installed Git and. Uh, festival here we need to uh, purge 
wiring pie. Now you might not have to do this, but I'm going to because I want to install the uh, the latest. So we're just going to uninstall that. Then we're just going to move over to here. And we'll copy that guy. Throw that back up there. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and download that. And get this installed. Now, if we do a wiring high dash B, oops, I got that wrong. I think we want GPIO dash B. I can't think of the command off the top of the head right now. But we do have the latest on there. So we can go on and clone this directory here. So now we can install PyFox. So if we CD in the PyFox, and if we do an ls, you can see that there's another directory for PyFox. So we need to CD into two directories here. So then once we're that into that, we can do a CD mod ch mod plus x space. Then we'll throw the little star up there. And now what we can do <clears throat> is we're going to run the following command here to get this started. So we can now it comes up. Now let me make this a little wider here so we can uh, see it a little bit. Alright, so now we'll just hit enter and we're going to go ahead and edit. So we want to do number two and for this, we'll just type in test. And we'll just say Fox Hunter. Now, <clears throat> we don't need to worry about the time because it's not going to be able to get the correct time. So we'll just uh, say zero. Now, if you look up here, zero is off. One is on on most settings so we'll just say zero you have to put something in each field if you just hit enter it probably won't work so now we're going to bypass this because we want to uh, do this ourselves so we can copy this now if we run this command here this should work so we'll just copy it paste it hit enter now it comes up. Do we want to use a pull-up resistor? We're going to say zero. <clears throat> now here's the box setting if you're using a handheld radio. But we're going to be using GPIO 4, pin 7 as the antenna. So we're going to set that to zero. Hit enter. Now we want to transmit the voice. Yes. So we'll say one. It'll say, now that we want to use packet radio, we'll say zero for no. Then for the uh, frequency here, we are going to just use this one here for now, but you may need to select your own. Now for the purpose of this uh, video, I'm going to change this to 10 seconds and not 60 seconds by default. So you can select the seconds of however many you want and we're going to select zero for there's no limit on the number of times it transmits now your ppm you might have to play with this but we're just going to try zero for now and then we'll just let this set at five 
Well, we'll let this set at 400. You may have to play with that, but I doubt. We'll let the PL set for zero. Then we'll just use the default here, even though you really don't need it. And we're going to set the transmit power at seven. All right, so now that we're set up there, as you can see, settings have been updated. So we'll just press enter again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to do zero because we want to run this. So if we run this, we run into an error. Oh, there it goes. It's just a little bit slow. So, <clears throat> all right, so I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, might be a little hard to understand, but I have my hand held here. As you can hear, it's uh, transmitting what we are saying. So, uh, it's working. So what we can do is, and it's saying obviously, see there we go, it says text, yeah, test fox hunter. You can have it, you know, obviously your call sign and whatever you feel like for it to transmit, but we'll play this one more time. Okay, so now that that's done, we're just going to hit cancel because what you can do is, if you want to run this on on boot, you can just select four. And if you need to change the settings again, you can uh, select two. If you want to display your current settings, we'll just type three. And as you can see, here's the settings that we chose. But like I said, you might have to uh, change your frequency. You might have to change uh, your PPM, but probably not. And if you need to change your milliseconds here. So we'll just hit enter to go back to the menu. And like I said, you can just automatically start this at boot by pressing 4 and enter. And uh, we should be good to go. So if you need to get out of the program, you can just hit 6. And you're back to your directory. Hopefully this helps out, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And uh, it helps me out a lot, and it makes me want to keep making videos for my subscribers and the people that appreciate the things that I do. So thanks for watching.